So this is a 63 year old female. She basically fell through a wooden deck and the lateral aspect of her right thigh essentially skimmed through this opening in the deck and caused a closed the gloving injury called a morel lavalle lesion or morel lavalle lesion, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Either way, she had a very large fluid collection in the subcutaneous tissue on the lateral aspect of her right thigh and this series is going to show you three separate drainages. Each time it did become less and less and we were able to control the fluid collection in the right thigh. However, there was still some sloughed fat that remained that formed a nodule or a lump that she found disturbing. Ultimately, she had to be referred to surgery for removal of this nodule. 63-year-old female, she fell about a month ago. Huge hematoma on her thigh here. We're going to go ahead and drain it, flush it with some saline. Okay, that's good. So here's an axial MRI where you can see the muscle layers of sartorius rectus femoris, vessus lateralis, and just the lateral to the vessus lateralis, you have this very large degloving type injury, a morel lavale or morel lavale lesion. And here's a fat saturated coronal where it just lights up, shows you how big this uh, fluid collection is. And here's a sagittal view where you can see it basically right over the vastus lateralis muscle. So in this patient, she has a very large fluid collection in the lateral thigh, which we can see here. That's essentially just bulging out from the lateral thigh. You can imagine how much fluid can accumulate in this large of a space. Now we're bringing the lower extremity into a supine position, and here's our probe. And we're essentially just going to go at the bottom or the very inferior aspect of this lesion to allow gravity to help us collect as much fluid as possible. Here we are looking at the normal anatomy of the lateral aspect of the thigh, where you can see the iliotibial band right above the vastus lateralis, and here's our morel lavalle lesion. On the lateral thigh, you can appreciate how large this fluid collection is and how much fluid can actually accumulate here. There's a little bit of an indentation on the inferior aspect of this particular lesion, which is caused by protrusion of the subcutaneous fat into the lesion. Here we are rotating now anteriorly. And here's the subcutaneous fat on top of it. And you can imagine how some of that is just kind of protruding through you can imagine how some of that fat is basically just indenting some of the morel valley lesion. Now we're bringing our thigh into the position of the procedure essentially as the patient lies supine. And here we are with our syringe. We made the subcutaneous fat somewhat translucent. And essentially the needle just goes right into the inferior aspect of the lesion to allow gravity to help collect all the fluid within this lesion. And here we are aspirating. And this procedure we went through many, many syringes to try to get as much fluid out as possible. Here we are, we're doing a lateral coronal ultrasound where you see this very large hematoma right above the ITB band. And here's some fat that just kind of got separated from where it usually is and it's basically just hanging inside this very large fluid collection. And again, here's this fatty nodule in an axial view. And here are some more axial views. We can see a septum within this morella valley lesion. And there's some more fat that's coming into play. So here we are, we're trying to drain it. This is our first attempt. And even though it's very easy to obviously drain this, um, you could easily get your needle stuck in one of these fatty nodules and you may finish the procedure prematurely. And we got quite a lot of fluid out of this morel valley lesion. And you always want to try to keep your tip within the black zone or within the fluid. And you can see how much fluid is just coming out between syringe changes. And ultrasound can come in handy because you can avoid irritating the iliotibial band uh, as you want to keep your needle just superficial to that.
And what we were left with was just this separated fatty nodule. And we initially tried to irrigate it with some saline, perhaps get out any residual kind of blood or debris. And then we tried to withdraw whatever we infused within the uh, lesion. And you can see uh, pre-procedure versus post-procedure that we got rid of essentially just about almost all the fluid. One week, uh, status post drainage of a Morel Lavalli lesion of her right thigh. Uh, unfortunately, it did come back. She had a hard time keeping the ace bandage on it to keep some compression. We'll try one more time to drain it. So here's our second round through. Uh, it did come back. I don't think as big, but still quite sizable. And that, unfortunately, is the nature of these lesions. Here we are looking at it on an axial view. And again, we can see that separated fatty nodule. Sterile gauze. Here the fluid, if you compare it to how it was originally, it's a little bit lighter, not as bloody, because uh, this is again the second round. Another syringe. And uh, we also did a little bit of saline irrigation here as well. Which you can see us injecting. And now we're trying to withdraw whatever we injected. And this is what we got the second time. Two weeks ago after the second time we drained it. Yeah. Sorry, Jess. But it's hard in there now. It's not like fluid, fluid is hard. But it's smaller. Well, I, you, you know, you'll have to, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. So what I think she was feeling was just that separated fatty nodule. That's the hardness that she was feeling. And that was there in the beginning. We just basically got rid of the fluid around it. And that's why she notices that more. Uh, upon this follow-up visit, there was a little tiny stream of fluid, essentially, within this lesion. So this is round number three. Most of it, actually, is still gone. Some of it recurred. Maybe about maybe 10 or 15 percent came back. So we're going to try to drain it again. And here's where ultrasound really comes in handy. We're trying to thread that needle up this stream essentially. This time I'm going to go proximal to where this, these kind of hard adipose type nodules are. And I think again this is from scarring from stuffing that sub fat layer off the muscle. Probably just fatty tissue that sloughed off from the fascia and kind of balled up. And I probably think it's going to stay that way. I'm going to inject it with some cortisone. I think it might kind of atrophy it. I'm going to kind of use one of the side effects of cortisone to hopefully help her. So here's a needle. Essentially, you're just right in the middle of this fatty nodule, and we injected it with uh, cortisone. And you can see that cortisone basically filling up this nodule. But upon follow up visit, uh, it didn't really have an effect, unfortunately, on shrinking that fatty nodule and therefore she was referred for surgery for removal of the fat nodule. However, the Morel-Lavalli lesion uh, essentially did not recur.